Now, to me, this is an interesting story. Light middleweight world champion Jamal Charlo, who is one half of the Charlo twins, along with his brother Jamel, says that up until undergoing a recent procedure, I'm not sure if that's a surgery or some other type of procedure that he's had on his eyes, he claims that he was more or less legally blind. And he's been fighting with terrible eyesight for many, many years. I'm going to quote Jamal Charlo directly here. He says, I pretty much won the world title all the way up through my career. I was legally blind. I adjusted myself to be able to fight unclear. Now I got the procedure done. Yeah, the fight was supposed to happen in October. He's talking about the Williams fight here. The fight was supposed to happen in October and I wanted it then. This is for me to be able to clear the medicals and less stress to go ahead. I'm ready now. Everything happens for a reason. Crystal clear vision is one of the things that's helped me make this fight easier. I'm 110% crystal clear. I'm good. I'm ready. It makes me a lot more confident. Everyone in the world should probably get it. I haven't fought with crystal clear vision my whole life. Now I'm motivated. I'm eager to get in there and see what this new person is like. Now, his brother, and again, this is interesting to me, his brother, Jamel Charlo, also went uh, and got some type of corrective procedure for his eyes, which was uh, laser eye surgery. I'm assuming now that Jamal has also had this procedure done, uh, but either way, I'll find out in due course if more information comes out about it. But his brother said, uh, I didn't know what I was going through. I would fight and know this was happening or that was happening. But the doctor told me I was basically fighting blind before. That's Jamel Charlo. Uh, and he goes on to say, oh, sorry, this is uh, uh, Williams talking about his opponent. He says, I didn't think he was going to duck. I thought he was putting the fight off for whatever reason, but at the time I didn't know what the reason was all that is under the bridge it doesn't even matter anymore the fight is december 10th he's going to bring his a game he's got 2020 vision i've had 2020 vision my whole life now will be even there's or oh, there will be no excuses so why this is interesting to me that the charlo brothers have both had vision problems and jamal is only just getting his vision problems sorted out now, or has only, only just had them sorted out now. This is interesting to me because, certainly in the UK, it's nigh on impossible to get a professional boxing license if you don't have 2020 vision. And this is one of the reasons why I never turned professional, because I don't have 2020 vision. And it would have required me to have corrective surgery on my eyes, which I've always been a little bit. Uh, uncomfortable about let's just say that but in the United States because there are different commissions for the different states the quality control let's just say of the medical standards you know the level of the medical standards varies greatly from state to state and I suspect that there could be a situation where brown envelopes are exchanged to allow fighters who don't meet the requirements of the medical standards to be able to fight i mean you've got a case of for example joe frazier i know this is way way back in the days joe frazier was apparently virtually blind in one of his eyes throughout the majority of his professional career including during his championship fights that is extraordinary that somebody could be blind in one eye and be fighting at a championship level how the hell was he passing medicals? Did he even have stringent medicals back then? And even now, you look at the Charlo brothers, both of them have been professionals for several years. Uh, one of the Charlos in what I quoted there did allude to the fact that passing medicals is a little difficult with the eye condition, with the short-sightedness or whatever it is that he has. But still, he's obviously been doing it. <laughs> he's obviously got some powerful people that have been 
doing whatever they need to do to circumvent the medical requirements or I don't know. So pretty strange stuff. Let me know what you feel about this, people. Fighters like the Charlo brothers with poor eyesight able to get into championship fights before they even have to address the eyesight issue. (laughs) where's the medical care I mean where's the medical standards in the United States when it comes to boxing does it even matter that much maybe the proof is in the pudding and if they were able to get to the championship level with poor eyesight then it proves that it's not that much of an issue I mean it's all relative at the end of the day it depends how bad the eyesight actually is like for example my eyesight is not that bad it's not 2020, but I'm not somebody that has to wear glasses all the time. Like, I'm somebody that is on the verge of needing glasses. Like, glasses would help in certain situations, but they're not ne- necessary for me for just walking around and doing normal stuff and whatever. I don't need glasses like that. But there is no way with my eyesight that I would pass a medical to be a professional boxer in the UK. No way. <laughs> I can tell you that for a fact. I know people that have failed their medicals. Uh, due to to insufficiently good eyesight in the UK. But in the United States, I've heard many, many stories like this where where people who are damn near blind get licensed to box in certain states. So, And the Charlo brothers, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe they're from Texas. So, I don't know. Drop your comments in the comment section below if this story is of any interest to you. It's certainly interesting to me. Uh, Maybe you could give some Other examples of fighters over the years who have fought with very poor eyesight and managed to be successful. So, yeah, let me know how you feel. It's your boy, Hatman Amal.